So we're going to do a little, little demonstration on how to uh, install your pad that goes underneath the carpet. Uh, first thing I want to do is just measure each room real quick. No, not necessarily each room, but any room that's going to be over 12 feet. That way I can get some kind of an idea which way I want to run the pad. Keep in mind your, uh, your pad is uh, six foot wide. Most of it is. Come up with those coming forward. Okay, so this is a 13 by 14 this way. So this, uh, that is just two foot from that wall. If I put two runs that direction, it's going to come all the way over to here. Then I'll just have a little piece right here to fill. So I will definitely run this room this way. You can see here, most of these new rolls of pad will come with tape on the back of it. You always want to get that tape off of there because it's just going to crinkle and make a bunch of noise when you walk on it. You don't want to be walking on your new carpet and hear crinkling and stuff from the, uh, from the tape. Can you hear that? You don't want to hear that when you're walking on your carpet. So it takes just a second just to pull that tape right off there. Okay. So we got that figured out which way to run it. I'm going to get myself maybe just a couple inches up the wall right there. Just like so. Roll it up. And I definitely want to start up here along a long flat wall. You always want to start on the longest straight wall to run your pad. You don't want to start on the side that has doorways and stuff like that. So if there's a doorway right here, you'd have to pull the pad up enough to reach the tack strip over here in the doorway. Then that just causes you to trim all the rest of the wall off. So you don't want to start on that side. So come right up here. <clears throat> what I do, I just roll it over. Kind of put my hand there where it's a couple inches extra over the tack strip. I roll it back and then I'll just cut it right there where my fingers are. All the way down. Means I know it's going to take two. I'm just going to go ahead and do two of them real quick. puckered up like this, it's going to eventually work its way over. It's going to cause your carpet not to get a good hold on the tacks. So the main thing is you don't want to cover your tack strip. <coughs> I'm just going to take that, line it right up there, and then go ahead and fold it out. Sure, I got enough length. <clears throat> okay, so just a little time saver, as you can see, how I lined this side right here, and then this has got to be cut, this has got to be cut all the way around the room. So, uh, let me go ahead and get this piece put in there. <clears throat> so this six foot will reach the length right here. So I don't want to cut the length off. I just want to go, I can get this filled with about two and a half feet. And that's going to get plenty.
if I just turn it. It don't matter if it's turned or if it's running the right direction or not because it's just padding, it's going to be covered up. Now, like I was saying a while ago, since I gotta cut all this and not that, and I'm right-handed, so I always want to cut on the right side of me, just because I'm right-handed. You always want to pull toward you when you're cutting. You don't want to try to go that way. It's just much easier to cut this way toward you. So I'm gonna start right here. That way I can just back all the way around the room, and uh, when I get there, I'll be done. Stay going there. Have to crawl forward, cut. Crawl forward and cut, crawl forward and cut. So this way I'm just in a consecutive motion all the way around the room. <clears throat> Once again, you just want to have it touching, you don't want it overlap. So if you actually just mash your finger right there, you can actually feel the tack strip through it. And then just put your blade right against the tack strip there. Pull right down. You want to keep your sharp blade. Uh, lots of pads. Some of it is a little difficult to cut. If you have a dull blade, it'll just kind of tear and rip on you. So keep your real sharp blade. Even if you got to change it, if you hit a hole in the concrete or a staple, if you're on wood, change your blade. It's going to make it a lot easier on you. Also, when you're cutting your pad in, you want to have this blade at an angle where it'll slice. Where it'll slice, you want to have this as flat as possible. It'll slice better like that, rather than up like that. So always hold your knife down as flat as you can. My fingers are here, and they'll actually rub the carpet, rub the pad as I'm cutting, and it'll just uh, make it slice, make it slice a lot easier for you. So since this is rounded, I'm just going to go ahead and get in a couple cuts right there and make it go. Make it wrap around easy. There we go, get that big stuff out of the way and it's easier to trim in like that. Okay, so again, I'm gonna keep my angle here. What I did right here, I just overlapped it. You get in a kind of a hurry, you're not going, this is probably straight enough right here to line this. But just to be safe, I will usually overlap my seams if I turn my pad like I did here. And then I'll just cut right up next to this factory edge. I don't have to worry about it matching up good because it's definitely going to be straight because I just cut it to my to my other pad there. These are double-sided blades and the knife. So when you get in the corner and it's hard to reach with your knife in this position, you can turn it over. Use the other side right there. <coughs> got all of our pad cut in. I'm going to go around now, clean up real quick. Okay, so again, since we are on concrete, we do have to glue this down instead of uh, stapling it like on wood. So I'll just take the edges on the seams and on the edges, and I'll just fold it back a little bit like so. Both ends. get all that. <clears throat> then if this is just such a small piece, I'm just going to fold that over one time like that. And I'll do the same first. After that's glued, then I'll fold the other side back and get it. So, I like to use the Tether Touchdown. Number 720. It seems to do the best. It's real quick grabbing. 
It'll grab a hold real fast. You don't have to keep stepping it down so much like other pad adhesives. So you only need to put, you see all these other squiggly lines from the previous installers? You don't need all that. You just need one, one straight line there. This is for the seam. That's why I'm squiggly in that. On the seam, I just like to do little circles to ensure that I get it good enough for both sides all in one trip down the seam there. Around the edges, you just need one solid line. Get up close to it as you can without getting on the tack strip. That way when you're stretching your pad, don't try to ride up on the tack strip. Again, just one straight line around the edge is plenty good. It's just to hold it in place. It's not, it's not going to be uh, trying to shift around and everything like that. Just holding it in place long enough we get the carpet folded over and in, in place. So. I'd say a couple, two or three inches. Maybe it's close enough to uh, to the edge. You don't want to go six inches or a foot or something like that away. Or else, if, if it's glued a foot away from it, when you're stretching your stretcher head right here and it's fastened back here, you still got room for that pad to uh, mash up and down on the tack strip there. So you want to keep it close enough where your pad don't move when you're stretching. seams are overlapped. Everything's touching together but not overlapped. Real simple just to pull it back like so with your feet. Before you step it into the glue you want to pull it back if it's overlapped. Okay. See how this is right here? It's just maybe a half inch or so away from that. I'm going to just take and push that up just a little bit with my feet like that. Step it down in the glue once it gets up there. Just walk it down in the glue real fast. Seams are all good and flat. Okay. Only got half of this one, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this over and get this seam right. Add the other glue the other side. Okay, I'm just going to step that down, and that'll be it. This room is ready for some carpet.